All right, guys, today we are on the PlayStation Classic. I'm going to show you how you run Sega Dreamcast games. Um, this is going to be done through RetroArch. Uh, I'm going to be leaving you a link to my page where you get the download link to the kernel for AutoBleam version 1.0.1. Um, the things you're going to need is obviously the PlayStation Classic, uh, USB 2.0 if possible. Uh, so this is going to be all the files that are going to come in the uh, download folder. Um, so for the Sega Dreamcast games, you're going to go over to the ROMs folder. Uh, you got to create a folder called DC, which is a short form for Dreamcast. And then here's the games that I have, Kings of Fighters, Soul Calibur, and Virtual Tennis. Now I'm using um, .gdi. Uh, you can also use .cdi. It'll just work as well. Uh, now for the other files you're going to need, go into the retro arch folder scroll down to the system folder and then you'll create a dc folder and then you're gonna have to uh, drag and drop the dc underscore boot dot bin folder and the dc underscore flash dot bin uh, file uh, i'm going to be leaving you those on my page um, so when you go to my page you just scroll down to the wallpaper of the video uh, it'll basically give you all the information you're gonna need uh, so so there's the two files you're gonna need now legally I cannot uh, give you the files so just keep that in mind I'm sure they're easier to find if you google them but everything you need is right there so USB format and FAT32, and then the name of the drive must be Sony in all capital letters. And then if you scroll down to the next uh, page, AutoBleam 1.0.1 setup kernel, uh, there's the download uh, folder for all the files you're going to need. So that's basically it for the setup of the USB stick. Now we'll get on the PlayStation Classic, and I'll show you um, how to set up for uh, Dreamcast games and a little bit of gameplay. All right, now over on the PlayStation Classic, uh, plug in your USB stick to uh, controller port number two, uh, power it on. It should boot you right into AutoBleam menu. There you go, now you're in Auto Bleam. Now to go to Retro Arch to play the Dreamcast games, just press the square button on the controller. Now you're in Retro Arch. Now you can load content from here, or you can go over to the plus icon to scan the directory of all your games. So I'm just going to do the Dreamcast game. So press X on the scan directory. And then go down to the folder where you have your ROMs. So it's under DC. Press X. And then scan this directory. Press X. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, the more games you have, the longer it's going to take. Now press circle to go back. Circle. Now you should have a Sega Dreamcast folder with all your games. So here's all my games. King of Fighters, Evolution, Soul Calibur, and Virtual Tennis. Now I'm going to run each one of these games uh, quickly. Uh, so press X to load the game. I'm, I'm going to reset the core association. So I sh I'll show you which ones to use. So it's been resetted. Now when you start the game, you press Run. And now it'll ask you what core you want to use. The Flycast Extreme Amped is good. And the Naomi Rycast Extreme is also good. So the first one and the fourth one, 
I usually find are the best. So let's run a game. So press X and then run. And it should load up the game. You can also use the uh, controller with analog if you have a USB uh, controller. A lot of the games you're just going to be able to use this controller if you want. So I find this one runs pretty good. There's usually no issues. So now to pick another game, you press uh, select and start. Close content. Uh, now press circle to go back. Now we'll pick Soul Calibur, press X, run. And I've already had this one set on that core. So this one plays uh, really, really well as well. So there you go, we'll go back. Select and start. We're going to do one more game, so close content. Go back. Virtual Tennis. Run. This one, the course is already set up as well. I noticed this one's got a little bit of audio glitch and same with the frame rate. Virtual tennis. A little bit of a lag. In the video. So select the start, close content. And then take, takes you back into this menu. Um, I have not tested every game. So you're just going to have to go through it. And see what, what games work. Um, I will leave the link to my page. In the uh, pinned comment. Where you can get all the download files. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And on to the next one.